Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a beautiful sea-themed resin tray. After she mixes her part A and part B resin, she starts by adding a very thin layer of resin onto the bottom of the mold where her pebbles will be going. She takes her bag of pebbles, which she's collected from the beach, and starts to pour it into the mold. And she's using a wooden stick to adjust their placement. She's also made resin coasters in this theme. If you're interested in watching that video, I'll leave it linked above. She calls this style bonazza because that's the Croatian term to describe when the sea is completely calm and flat. Then she pours her resin into smaller cups to add her pigment. She'll be using Depon's alcohol ink in the shade Intense Teal. She adds in a few drops and mixes it together. And to achieve a lighter shade, she's just pouring some of what she mixed into a second cup that has clear resin. And for her darkest shade, she'll be using Dark Turquoise by Just Resin. She adjusts the pebbles a little bit more before pouring her darkest shade of blue pigmented resin at the top of the mold. Then she takes the second darkest shade and pours right below. And pours the lighter shade closest to the pebbles. Then she takes her cup with clear resin and pours it at the bottom of the mold. And she continues to add the different shades of blue pigmented resin. As you can see, these are all transparent pigments so that you'll be able to see the pebbles below the water. And she uses a silicon makeup brush to help blend the shades of blue. I'll have Amazon affiliate links in the description if you're interested in purchasing any of these products. Be sure to check that out. And she decided to add in some of Liquitex's acrylic ink in the shade Turquoise Deep. She uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and she's moving it in a very quick motion not to burn the resin or the silicone mold. And now she's adding in her seashells. Now she's ready to add in her handles, and she has these beautiful gold dolphin handles, which I love. And she carefully places them onto the sides of the mold.
She used the wooden stick to move some of the pebbles around so that the handle would fit better into the mold. And she added the leftover resin into this love silicone mold. Here's a clip of my mom demolding the next day. She used the same technique in a love sign mold, and here's her demolding that as well. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.